Thanks for tuning in for this 4-H virtual field trip here at the Black Belt Substation here in Marion Junction, Alabama, and Dallas County. Today we're going to go check out some of the facilities, the equipment, and we're even privileged to see some of the procedures done by some of the grad students and professors from Auburn University. Come on, let's check it out. This is the Kelly Baker Auditorium that houses offices of the station director and staff. It's also used for various extension workshops, employee health screenings, and polling locations. And last but not least, the Black Belt Research and Extension Center's residence, the Cal. Changing gears, the station was established in 1930 and focused on restoring soil fertility to aid in pasture development. Let's go check in on the extension staff and students as they collect data from their test plots. Howdy, my name is Russell Carroll and we're coming to you coming to you today from the Black Belt Research and Extension Center in Marion Junction, Alabama. And today what we're working on is our uh, novel endophyte fescue variety trial here at the station. As you can see behind me, we have our lawn genie, our forage harvester, uh, out getting our samples for the year. Uh, so this is a statewide project uh, where we look at different varieties of novel endophyte fescue and uh, collect yield data on an annual basis so that we can provide information to Alabama producers throughout the state and especially here in the Black Belt region uh, to give them uh, knowledge and information to make decisions on on what variety of novel in the fight fescue is going to be the best for this area and the best for their operation. Uh, this is again an annual project that we do. Uh, we harvest this once a year uh, with our crew here at the station. We've got a really great group out here today and some really pretty weather. Uh, so if, you, if you're interested in obtaining this information, be sure to visit the uh, Alabama Cooperative Extension website, aces.edu. Hope you all enjoy and we thank you for joining us today. All right, so this is a project at Auburn University where it's a variety trial for tall fescue. So there's a couple different varieties out here that we're comparing for yield growth today. So we're sampling the varieties and then we'll take them and get a whole plot weight and then we'll take and get a grab sample from that, stick them in an oven, dry them down and run some more nutritive value tests on them after that. Thanks Russell and Madison. I sure am interested in seeing what you guys find. There's another activity taking place at the cattle handling facility. The BBREC also has projects including grazing studies as well as animal breeding experiments. Numerous crossbreeding studies at the station have provided valuable information to the beef industry. Let's check in with Dr. Dillon and get a better understanding on exactly what is going to take place today. My name is Leanne Dillard and I'm the State Forage Extension Specialist and today we're at the Black Belt Research and Extension Center working so 
from Beef Cows and Calves. This project we're working today, we're going to look at how different weaning strategies affect the performance of the calves during the post weaning phase, as well as look at their difference in different backgrounding diets. This is really important because the most stressful time during a calf's life is during the weaning phase when we take it from its mother and put it away from its mom. So we're doing three different types of weaning. We're doing what we call fence line weaning, which is where the cows and calves are separated, but they can still see each other across the fence line. We're doing a nose flap, which is an implement that goes in the nose. It allows the cows and calves to be together, but doesn't let the calf actually get milk from the cow. And then we're doing what we call abrupt. And that's typical weaning strategy where you separate the cows and the calves and then immediately take the calves to a different location. Obviously, we, we figured this is probably the most stressful because the cows and the calves, imagine what if you were separated from your parents without any warning what that might be like. So once they go, we're going to take them from here and take them to a different station, the E.B. Smith Station, which is in Macon County in Shorter, Alabama. And there we're going to put them on different diets. So we're going to look at a pasture-based diet, a pasture and supplement diet, and a supplement uh, diet where they're in a feedlot and we're giving them feed every day. And this also is just to look at how the different diets affect their response, how much weight they gain, because that's important in our calves. And also we're taking some blood to look at different health parameters, specifically looking at how their immune system is affected by both the weaning and the different diets. Good. Thanks for tuning in for this 4-H virtual field trip. For more information about Alabama 4-H, contact your local cooperative extension office, look us up on Facebook, or at acs.edu under the topic Alabama 4-H.